What's up guys? I'm Jay Dub and today guys we are looking for the perfect piece of wood that we can test this steel 362C and actually figure out if one the bark box makes a difference. I know the bar sparks are gonna make a difference, so we'll, we'll give them a pass on that. But we're actually gonna see how well this saw does pulling a 28 inch bar. And right now we're looking for a piece of wood, and I've got some out here. I've got this piece right here, which isn't real big, but it's ash. I'm pretty sure that's ash. And then I see this one, who I think is hickory. I think this is hickory, so this ought to be a pretty good one. Decent, so I mean, not huge, but extremely hard, so we should be able to get some good tests out of it. So we'll get it set up, we'll get this cut up, and then we'll tune our saw and everything at the house, and I'll bring y'all back when we're there. <laughs> As you can see guys, this thing made short work of that wood. This is an awesome running saw. And I really don't want that bark box to be worth it. I really don't. We're gonna try to do this where we can give this thing a fair shot. A lot of people really seem to like the bark box. Truly, I want it to fail. It is super loud and I'm not a big fan of that. It's chainsaws are loud as it is, but this makes it a lot more loud. But we'll see, we'll see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead and get this log up on the back of my truck and then I'll see y'all when we're back at the house. That's what we're gonna do three cuts. We're gonna do two, just letting the weight of the saw sit, chop down through it, and then we'll do one, the last one, we'll actually put the dogs in it and rock it and see, see if there's any difference, see if there's a time difference. I'm really hoping I can send this thing back to the guy and tell him I want my money back because it's so loud. That's the biggest issue I've got is it's loud. But We'll see. If it works and I do get more horsepower, hey, I guess we're just going to have to run a loud saw then. super loud we're gonna go back in here we're gonna put the stock exhaust back on it and we're gonna see how this thing does and uh sit out here i'll cut up a little bit more wood get the saw kind of tuned back into itself and we'll see but it's impressive that cuts pretty good this is a new chain standard full comp chain 28 inch bar nothing's done to the saw except for the bark box on it and new felling dogs so Let's go in here, switch it out real quick. We'll get this uh, back up. Remember, first cut, 
is just the weight of the saw. Second cut is just the weight of the saw. Third cut, we're actually going to rock our dogs into it. Let's see how it does. <laughs> Joe's times out we'll see which one's faster I will say when you hit the gas the chain is slower to get up to speed uh, dead honest truth I don't know how I can show you all that but it feels like it's lagging it just it doesn't feel like it has as much acceleration but other than that the cuts all seem to be about the same speed I didn't notice a great improvement maybe the times will tell we'll put them down below uh, let me go in there, review the footage, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. All right, as you can see, we have made it back into the wood shop. And uh, we've got some interesting, interesting stuff. Y'all probably already seen it, but let me look at my times real fast. So we have it looks to me like the winter's clear. The stock exhaust beat the bark box. Now, this is a small test, really small, not a whole lot of data points. But it clearly did. In this test, it beat it by almost, actually a little bit more than half a second. I think it was uh, 5.3 or 0.53 seconds. So, I mean, that's a half a second difference. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because there's a lot of people that like the bark box, but me, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. I'll test it some more. If y'all guys like this video, I'll keep the bark box for a little bit longer and we'll do a ton more testing with this. I do want to show you some things that you need to do when you get this bark box. And I don't know, I'm assuming this guy, actually I can tell he's cutting them out. It's all stainless steel, which I do like that it is incredibly tough it's a lot of protection for the front of your saw like a ton of protection but he's cutting it out with a plasma cutter and it leaves a sharp edge all the way around so just take you a flat file and hit this thing all the way around just to get that sharp edge off of it other than that i mean the quality the welds if you don't know anything about me i'm a, a welder by trade the welds are good they're fused welds doesn't look like he's adding any tick wire to them a little bit of undercut, but you're going to get that with a fused weld. Nice stainless steel, really thick, super durable. Just listen to the quality. This is your steel box. And here's the bark box. And just, I mean, loads more quality. Here's the inside of it. You've got your spark arrestor in here. Here's your, here's your other side of it. Exhaust comes out the top. It's got an angled plate in here that keeps it from blowing all into the side of your, your uh, case. But uh, other than that, everything looks good, works good. I really like it. Uh, for the for the sake of it, which one which one am I gonna run? Which one? The stock exhaust cut faster. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The bark box looks cooler. I mean, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to run the stock exhaust for a while. Like I said, if I get some likes on this video and you guys really enjoy it, we'll put the bark box back on and we'll give it another round. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And like always, take someone outdoors.